yesterday lm studio came up with a new upgrade of their software i believe this software is one of the most important upgrade in recent weeks that's true in ai times and all these versions moves in the matter of weeks if not days so if you haven't already i would highly suggest that you upgrade or update your lm studio if you want to update it all you need to do is to launch your lm studio go to home page and click on check for updates and it show, should update it for you i already have updated it and the current version is 0.2.22 so make sure that you have updated to this version i covered one of the cool feature in this new update which was um, lm studio cli and it was really awesome today i'm going to cover another feature which is really cool and that now lm studio has the support for flash attention before i show you how you can use flash attention let me give you a bit quick overview about flash attention and by the way they have just done the upgrade to the llama.cpp which primarily is a very cool library or a python binding for many llms which can be accessed on hugging face so python dot or llama dot cpp is a library that provides simple python bond bindings for Greek Grenov's library it is also a package that supports multiple blast backends for faster processing and blast is basic linear algebra sub programs that again refers to a library that provides optimized low level routines for linear algebra operations so don't get confused so what has happened is that there is a library which is called as llama.cpp which is a python binding and that llama.cpp now has flash attention enabled so what lm studio has done they have included that llama.cpp in this new upgrade so primarily the real hard work has been done by llama.cpp and because lm studio is simply not simply but sort of a wrapper gui wrap, wrapper on top of llama uh, llama.cpp so once they have upgraded and included that llama cpp in their lm studio now we have flash attention enabled on your screen you can see a very famous paper on flash attention but instead of going through this paper i am going to give you a very quick overview of what exactly this flash attention is in simple language flash attention is a mechanism for handling the memory used in attention in a more logical way leading to higher performance it primarily depends on hardware too if you are using latest nvidia graphic card you will see more improvement so but more or less once you enable flash attention you see 10 to 15 percent improvement in inference time for the more technical definition flash attention is a neural network mechanism that enables efficient and dynamic attention computation that enables the models to selectively focus on relevant input regions it's very lightweight and it parallelizable technique that replaces traditional attention mechanism and that reduces memory requirements so it is all the game of reducing memory requirements and putting in more and more uh, model and its inference in the memory so flash attention is primarily applied to curie q uh, curie key value or qkv so what exactly this qkv matrix q stands for curie matrix which is the context in which the attention is being applied for example if you're applying the attention to a whole sentence or a word then if you're applying it to sentence that q is sentence or if you're applying the attention to just a word that is then your q is just a word then we have k k is for represents the input data the actual data that attention is being applied so if you're applying the attention to a sentence then k is the sentence so and then we have v v is the weighted sum of all the input data so this flash attention is applied to this q k v these matrices are used to compute the attention weights which are then used to compute a weighted sum of the value matrix and this process primarily allows the model to selectively focus on different parts of input data and then it weighs their importance 
and whichever has the highest weighted sum that has the more importance and then model returns or just process that uh, sort of context or that it gives attention to that token or it gives attention to that k value so that is the whole game here and there is a lot of mathematics involved which i'm not going to go into all you need to remember for flash attention is that it is a mechanism to use the memory more efficiently more quickly and it's a dynamic one also it enables us to handle the memory used in attention in a more logical way to achieve higher performance and now that flash attention is now part of the latest lm studio and it is just a checkbox which you need to select and let me show you how launch lm studio so this is our lm studio at the moment just click on this folder icon and you will see this is i already have a model downloaded here and then just click on these three dots let's load the model so that we'll be able to play around with some of the parameters let me delete my previous chat let's wait for the model to load it takes a bit of a time sometimes model is loaded and by the way i have one gpu card on this system with 16 gp of vram okay so all the settings are on the right hand side you can see that you can do some advanced configuration there is a gpu setting which you can do so if i just scroll down and click here you can just offload everything to gpu which also speeds up a lot of things and then you see these are some of the inference one where you have top case sampling repeat and all this stuff and if you hover around them you will also see a lot of stuff and if you go into model initialization there you will see flash attention and you just need to select it and we would need to reload the model but we will do it that is okay and if you hover over it it says that it is still in experimental but you can enable it and it is also on there are a lot of other good stuff too there that you can check now let me load the model and this should be quick because we have uh, offloaded to the gpu and all that stuff so that is done and now let me ask it questions like write me a story about a nun or I mean let's not nun about a nun okay, let's not go there about a shop lifter who wanted to repent you see the speed how quick that is so these are few of the tricks which you can do to not only speed up your inference and you can see that it has it was really flash so if i sort of remove this and then i would reload the model and then let it reload and then i will run it and you will uh little bit you will see that yeah so there is a slight performance hit there you see how good is that so it's a very small model so you might not feel that but there is of course slight difference here and you can of course time it so anyway so if you're struggling to have more speed on your gpu so enable that flash attention and see how it goes so i hope that this was useful let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching